Hey guys, so I felt like I needed to do a quick collective reading for you guys. General collective reading, no specific signs. If the signs come through, I will say something. Um, but I have 10 minutes, so we're going to do a quick 10 minute read. All right, guys. So let's see what the divine has for us right now for the collective. Where is the... What's going on right now? What is this message that needs to be relayed to my collective? For the collective. What is the theme of this collective reading? This collective message? Four cards. All right, we have money issues. We have I made a mistake. I missed out. Oops, somebody's having regrets. Somebody feels like they missed an opportunity. And they're having some money issues. We have because they maybe wouldn't open up to you, they wouldn't be vulnerable, and they were hiding secrets and they were guarded. They wouldn't open up. I took the easy way out. All right, so give me more clarity about what they need to know about this situation. Why did this message so urgently need to be relayed right now? What does this have to do with my collective and why do they need to know? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Page of Wands, the Tower. You're about to get some unexpected communication from this person, and that's why Spirit is wanting to relay this message to you to warn you. This is somebody that you could have walked away from. What does the Three of Swords have to do with my... So we have Scorpio energy here. We have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, what does this Tower moment mean for my collective? The Tower for the collective, the Five of Wands. All right, what do they need to know about this Tower moment? The Nine of Swords. Somebody is like losing sleep over how things ended between the two of you and the conflict or the fight that occurred between the two of you. What's this Three of Swords mean for my collective? The world. Yeah, something is coming to an end. What's this mean for my collective? Hmm. What does the Eight of Cups mean for my collective? The Seven of Swords. You walked away from this person because you felt like they were a liar. You guys could feel that this person was hiding secrets or it came out that this person was hiding something from you. Ah, they're getting their karma and their karma could be affecting their money, their stability. Yeah. Yeah. This person, you had to end things with this person because you had to make a judgment call because I feel this person was greedy or they were selfish. All right. They were causing a lot. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of um, arguing, a lot of stress, sleepless nights because of this person. And I feel like you had to make a judgment call and walk away from this person. But what's this page of wands? But they're getting some karma for being deceptive or lying to you, doing something sneaky, keeping secrets. Now they're in like heavy regret energy and their money is suffering. What's this page of wands mean for my collective? The three of wands and the page of pentacles. This is for my collective. The moon. They're they're coming in. What's their, where are they, where are they why are they coming in to ask if you're single or they're hoping that you're single? Yeah, they want to try to work on. Now they want to meet you halfway. Now they want to work on somebody. This you know, you guys could be Earth signs watching this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but yeah, somebody's coming towards you with an offer, wanting to. I think they're wanting to know if you're single, or they may be coming towards you to tell you that they are single now. All right, let's see. What's this person's intentions? What's this person's intentions? What's this person's intentions with coming back towards? my collective i know i need healing i'm finding a way to work through my blockages please be patient with me yeah i feel like this person may even ask you to wait or be patient with them work with them yeah work with them give them some time come to some type of compromise with them i can't give you what you want right now so this person still they're coming towards you when they still know that they need to have a lot of healing to do and they're not in a place to be able to give you what you deserve so why are they coming in it's been difficult seeing a future together. I'm sorry I have to walk away. It's because maybe you guys are walking away from them now. Why are they coming in? It would be too much of a risk for me to jump into anything with you. I'm scared of the outcome. Okay. I 
I'm making changes in my behavior and habits. I deserve, you deserve better. It's like this person's going to tell you like they're trying to change for you. They're trying to be better with better for you. Give them some time, be patient with them, wait for them. But I feel like you guys are starting not to see a future with this person anymore. And I feel like you got kind of, you guys are starting to kind of feel like this can't work. And they maybe feel you getting away from them. This has like been a collective energy for like the past couple of weeks. Give me one more card about this person's intentions. I'll continue to play your silly games. It's quite endearing. This person's not taking this, like, they think this is a game. You're the safest choice for me. I'm not exactly happy, but I'm comfortable. Mm -mm. Tell me about this person returning. Tell me more information about this person returning. Maturity. Yeah, it's going to be taking, it's going to take this person a long time to grow up and spirit wants you to know this. They want you to know they truly changed and you inspire. Yeah, it's like they're saying that they changed for you, but it's taking this person a long time to grow up and change. What else do they need to know about this? Last test. Oh, so this person, I told you, this person's coming back towards you. They're still not in a place to give you what you deserve, provide you with what you deserve and what you need, but they're coming back towards you for whatever freaking reason. It says they're still the same person and they haven't changed. Have you learned your lesson? Are you going to be able to recognize that this person is coming towards you and they're unchanged and that nothing will be different? Will you be able to break this cycle that you and this person or will you be able to prevent yourself from getting into a cycle with this person? Will you be able to recognize it? Will you be able to listen to your intuition? Because I feel like your intuition is going to be telling you this. Give me one more card about why this person, are they coming back and why? They're, yeah, they're still very conflicted and confused. They still don't even understand what this connection is. They just feel very drawn to you and they don't really understand why. That They don't feel like they can let you go. But Spirit says expect delays with this person still. But yeah, they're going to take some type of action towards you. No more talk. They want to put in, they want to show you and put in the work to repair what they've broken. They're going to try to follow their heart. But I feel like you guys might be over this person by the time that they take action towards you. Like you guys are starting to feel like you don't have a future with this person. Mm, interesting yeah they, they're going to be taking action a little too late so give me a few more clarifying cards about um where this is headed between them and this person where is it where is this headed okay so this could be a soulmate connection for you past life connection you could have past life ties to this person and it's complicated. Yeah, it's still going to continue. This person feels very lost without you. But I see going forward, at least based off the current energy, the things are still going to be very complicated between you and this person. One more card. I, because this person's still not available. They're still not in a place to give you what you deserve. They still need to work on themselves. They're still going to be guarded. They need to heal, okay? <laughs> they need to heal. And I feel like they're kind of like avoiding that. But they also don't want you getting away from them. That's what I feel like it is. Cause they kind of feel that you're like getting over them so they're going to try to do anything that they can to keep you real then all right guys so let's get you a piece of advice for this situation it says take the risk and love like you've never been hurt before risk or lose i feel like what's this mean for my collective ask yourself why you keep saying yes to the things you know are bad for you I feel like spirit is trying to say that it's very risky to keep involving yourself with this situation. I see with this person. I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith. What does this risk or lose mean? Let love unfold. Some things take time to figure out. I don't know. Kind of, spirit is kind of just trying to say like kind of know your worth and don't and set boundaries with this person. But this is something that might unfold later. There's something that has yet to be like there's something yet to unfold between you and this person. It says, yeah, some, some things take time to figure out. I feel like this person is going to eventually recognize what you are for them or awaken to this connection. But you guys got to break this cycle that you've been going through with this person. I feel like when it's when you stop settling for this person's BS, that's when things are going to change. Unfortunately, this person may have to lose you to really change or to wake, open their eyes, wake up. It says you must meet the requirements of your requirements. Be the person you want to meet. Align yourself. So Spirit wants you to focus on working on yourself. Today can be the day you stop doing that self-destructive thing you do. Go within. So they're telling you you need to go into hermit mode for right now. But I feel like this is something that's going to come together. You and this person are going to come to get back together in the future. And we have people will always talk about you. So might as well give them something to talk about. Gossip. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm saying. You are worthy of living on your own terms. Never apologize for wanting what you want. Don't settle. You not settling is going to change things in this situation. 
All right, guys. So that was this quick 10 minute read for you guys. Hope that this helped you, even though it was pretty short. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.